Okay, here is the second part of the um, organic op art that we did in class. Um, this one is very similar to the one we did in class, but it is multiplied four times instead of just once. So the one we did in class looks like this. This is just the line version of it. So again, you got to go up to File New. You need a 10 by 10, 300 resolution. Background contents can either be white or transparent. It does not matter. Press OK. You have this. Let's create a new layer right away. And let's get a guideline here in the center. Pick your brush tool. You're going to want a hard round brush anywhere from 5 to 10 pixels. Um, I chose 8 pixels. If you want a really thick, thick line, you could do something thicker. Um, it is completely up to you, but it's easier right now to do this. So we're going to click once, hold shift, click again, you get a straight line. Okay, um, I'm going to duplicate this layer. You could also draw more lines if you wanted to, but I think duplicating the layer is just as easy. Move that over, Command J, move that over. Now you can keep it symmetrical. Um, or you could do it asymmetrical on each side. I personally like symmetrical. Um, that's something that I do. Uh, but you do need to keep it within two inches. Okay, you don't want to go too far out of that because you're gonna you're gonna duplicate this. So I'm gonna duplicate it again. Remember, duplicate is Command J. This one's gonna be thinner. I like more that than than that then. And so you want to do um, two to three on each side of your middle one. So I'm going to duplicate one more time. Have this one a little wider. And if you use your pointer tool, if you look at the top, you probably can't see it on my screen, but whenever you're using your tools, um, and you have your ruler up, there is a little dotted line on your ruler that shows you where you're lining your things up. Alright, so I have all of these. I need to merge my layers. So I'm just going to click on the top one. I'm going to click on the bottom one. I'm going to go to my drop down menu and merge layers. So now I have one. Um, I could have also command e all the way down to merge on top of one another until I got to the bottom layer. Now again, I'm going to go in to my liquify tool. And the last time we used the um, forward warp and the twirl. Now we're going to use the pucker and the bloat tool. Um, two of my favorites you are going to want a very large brush, one that is larger than your lines, even larger than that. I like to go up into the 800s. If you kept it within your two inch boundary, something 750 to 850 is a good number. You do not want your brush rate too much. Um, one student yesterday had that a little too high, so it bloated and puckered really quick. So you wanna keep the brush rate around 52 keep your brush density around 72. Um, I line up my crosshairs with my middle one and I click. If you just keep clicking it will adjust it. Okay, if you wanted that even bigger, I'm gonna restore all. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Maybe 870. Let's try that. Yeah, I like that one a little bit better. I click really fast to get it how I want. Um, if it's not going fast enough for you, you can uprate your brush rate, but don't do too much at a time. Maybe do maybe up to 60. Try that. See what that does. Remember, once it starts getting really close to those edges, you're going to need a bigger brush. Then we're going to go to Pucker, 
and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to bring that in. And then I'm going to bloat. I'm going to have an even bigger one. Let's let's try 900 here. 1000. Keep going, keep going. So you get it the way you want it to look. And then again, you can pucker. You could also do the uh, ripple tool is what I call it. It's the turbulence tool that gives it a little um, off kiltered one. I personally don't like that. You could try it if you wanted to. I'm going to just restore all, and I'm going to quickly um, float and pucker these again. So once I've blown and puckered everything, I can also use my forward warp tool to smooth out any areas that I need. Um, I'll probably make my brush size quite a bit smaller to do that, um, just to make smooth out the transitions a little bit if you have um, a transition that's a little bit much. Press OK, it's going to, to transform this. So now we have this. Um, as you can tell, there is a little bit of a problem. We have some lines here that don't go all the way down. You can do one of two things. You can free transform that down and pull that out like so. Or you can make it smaller like halfway. Again, I can I can pull down my guides to find halfway, and then I can duplicate it, and it's not going to line up. It's just not going to. So you have to go up to edit, and you have to transform, and you want to flip it vertically. And what that's going to do is it's going to line it up, and I like to zoom in, and move this up. This looks pretty good. Um, I could nudge it a little bit more. I could connect the lines. I can overlap. I can erase. I can do it however I want to fix it. We're gonna leave, we're gonna do this, and I want to merge these two layers together. So I Command E to merge. Now I'm gonna copy this layer. Then I'm going to duplicate that layer again and move it over, move over here. And I'm going to duplicate it again and move it over here. And one more time. Oops. I like to nudge. I'll make sure that all of your layers touch the bottom and touch the top. All of mine do not. But I want to fix that. You need to merge all of them again. And merge layers. And we're going to Command T. And just throw them a little bit. And hit Enter. Um, now you could leave it like this, or you can put those little lines in it like I have in here, the lines in between. They're really simple to do. Um, 
it's just a lot of repetition. What you're going to do is you're going to use the magic wand tool. You do not want to use the quick selection. You want to use the straight old old school magic wand tool. You're going to click in between. You're going to hold shift and click again and again and again so you have all the negative space. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to select and modify. We're actually going to contract that. Now I usually don't go less than 10 pixels or more than 50. So I'm going to start at 45 and press OK. And then what you do is you go to edit and stroke. And you can do a different width than your regular lines. You can do a thicker lift. Again, between 5 and 10, I'm just going to pick 5. I press OK. I go up to select again. I modify, contract. This time I'm only going to do 20. Edit, stroke. Like I said, it is a lot of repetition. So you're going to keep doing that. Select, modify, contract. I'm going to do 35 this time. So you want to vary your sizes. Now once you're done and you got them all the way you want, as many as you want, um, I didn't show you all of them because it kind of got boring. So once you got them all done, then you're going to want to put your background in it. Now for this one, I actually click on my background and create a new layer. And then what I do is I use the rectangular marquee tool and I line up the center of the negative space and I make one square to the center of the next negative space and then I click on the gradient tool and I'm going to pick the reflected gradient and again you can pick anything you want you can pick one of these you can create your own um, within there that's what I'm going to do for this one I need to tell which one. I'm going to start in the one side, drag it over. That's what I get. Do I want, do I like it like that? No, I actually don't. So I'm just going to go to the center. Don't really like that either. Not something I'm liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a different one. Actually, I'm going to modify this. I'm going to bring red to the center. I'm going to go here, double click on that do a white. I like this one much better. Press OK. Draw a line. Now I have the reflected that I want. Okay. Deselect that. Command J it. Move it over to the center so that it lines up. Command J. Again. Pull it over here. Oops. I know it's right there in the center. This bar one over here, does that go all the way to the bottom? I need to nudge that down. Again, I can now, I can merge these three. And I can Command J. And I can pull that over. All the way to the center of this one. And now I have a smooth gradient throughout that I can use. And that is the basics of doing this type of organic uh, op art. The next one, I will show you how to create four of them and how to use um, some of the different uh, filters under distort to make something even neater.